But Matilda's teacher, Miss Honey, was one of those remarkable people who appreciates every single child for who she or he is. I skipped these up for you, Miss Honey. Oh, how lovely. Thank you, Amanda. OK, listen up, everybody. We have a new student with us today. This is Matilda Wormwood. I'd like you to sit over here with Lavender. Now, you all remember how scary your first days at school were, so I'd like you to be especially nice to Matilda and make her feel welcome, all right? Could you get her workbook for her, please? Yes, Miss Honey. You can sit down. Miss Honey was a wonderful teacher and a friend to everyone. But her life was not as simple and beautiful as it seemed. Miss Honey had a deep, dark secret. Though it caused her great pain, she did not let it interfere with her teaching. Well, Matilda, you've come on a very good day because we're going to review everything that we've learned so far. Now, it's all right if you don't understand any of this because you're brand new. But if you do know an answer, just raise your hand, okay? All right. We've been working on our two times tables. Would anyone like to demonstrate? <gasps> okay. Let's do some together. Two times four is? Eight. Two times six is? Twelve. Two times nine is? Eighteen. Excellent. You've been practicing. Pretty soon you'll be able to do any multiplication, whether it's two times seven? Fourteen. Very good. Or 13 times 379? <laughs> 4,927. I beg your pardon? I think that's the answer. 13 times 379, 4927. It is. Wow. So do you know how to multiply big numbers? I read this book last year in mathematics at the library. You like to read? Oh, yes. I love to read. What do you like to read? Everything. But lately I've been reading Dolls Chickens. Charles Dickens. I could read him every day. So could I. All right, everyone, take out your workbooks and let's start with section three. I'll be back in a moment. Another smack in the face. Burns is hurt. He's on the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. Saved by the bell. Packages at this hour? Come here. What? Okay. <laughs> Hello. We don't give money. We don't like charities. We don't buy raffle tickets. Oh, Mr. Wormwood, I'm Jennifer Honey. I'm Matilda's teacher. What's she done now? You, go to your room right now. Right now. Beat it. Look, whatever it is, she's your problem now. No, there is no problem. Then beat it. We're watching TV. Mr. Wormwood, if you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Now, why don't you turn that darn thing off and listen to me? <sighs> All right. Come on, get this over with. Mrs. Wormwood's not gonna like this. Come on, get in. Close the door. Who is it? Some teacher. Says she's gotta talk to you about Matilda. What'd you do that for? You have the last quiz on the ropes. What do you want? I I'm sure you're aware by now that Matilda has a brilliant mind. Yeah, right. Mikey, give me a beer. Her math skills are simply extraordinary. She's reading material that I... Want one? Oh, no, thank you, dear. M material that I didn't see until my second year of college. 
Oh, college. Great college. I really feel with private instruction that, that she'd be ready for college in just a few short years. Look, Miss Snit, a girl does not get anywhere by acting intelligent. I mean, take a look at you and me. You chose books. I chose looks. I have a nice house, a wonderful husband, and you were slaving away teaching snot-nosed children their ABCs. You want Matilda to go to college? <laughs> <laughs> college? I didn't go to college. I don't know anybody who did. Bunch of hippies and cesspool salesmen. 